What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Demos Gaming and today I have a slightly different video for you. Um, just recently I was talking with some guys in the Project Brutality Discord and they gave me some tips on how to run Project Brutality with a bunch of add-ons uh, at one time and to be able to do it like quickly and easily. So I have a couple things for you here to show you how to do that. So, um, first things first, you're going to need to get ZDL. This is uh, a mod launcher, basically. So, what you can do is it will load up um, the original Doom with, like, any mods that you want. You can put them in a specific order, also, that will help uh, everything run, like, really easily and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really, really helpful, and it can just pull up a bunch of mods at one time without having to click on a bunch of things and drag it onto GZ Doom, whatever. So anyway, what you're going to want to do is uh, click on that. It's going to take you here, and then depending on your operating system, you just need to download the correct one. Of course, I'm on Windows, so I just downloaded that, and uh, it just comes in as a zip. Uh, obviously, you're going to need the newest version, GZ Doom 4.5 in this case. That's uh, as of today. And then you're also going to need to download the, uh, specifically for Project Brutality, you'll need to go to the GitHub and download this, and you can just do this and hit download zip. And that's basically all that you need to get started. Now, if you're looking for community add-ons specifically for Project Brutality, the way that you find that is uh, join the Discord. I'll have links to all this stuff in the description, by the way. Um, and then what you want to do is scroll down and go to community add-ons. Once you click on that, you're going to get to this page. Uh, this page is full of a bunch of people that make add-ons, like additional things to that you can play on top of Project Brutality. Uh, and they specifically work with that. What you can do to easily find the newest versions of everything is to go to pinned messages. And they are all here right at the top. So they have... Uh, auto cannon fix, item mutator, all this stuff. So just go through and find it. That's one that I use a lot. Um, uh, and actually, this is a new version, so I'm going to need to get that. But anyway, um, yeah, and like I said, they regularly update things too, just like this one. I actually need to, in fact, I'll just go ahead and download that now. Um, and, you know, then it just kind of downloads it, and then you're good to go. So that's that. Um, yeah, so once you have a bunch of add-ons that you want, uh, and you have, uh, by the way, ZD, ZDL and GZ Doom do not require you to, to install anything. You just basically you download these things. What I always do is I take GZ Doom and I put it inside the same file that ZDL's in, so that it's just um, you know because they're they're kind of close. Uh, so you don't run into any weird issues with incompatibilities or anything like that. I haven't run into anything where like this was in a different place. Not yet, anyway. So, but anyway, I think that's a recommendation just to make sure that you put this in the same area. So, anyway, um, what you want to do is once you have your GZ Doom uh, file, uh, basically, th that's the actual exe there. Uh, take all of your mods, and, you know, any of the mods that you actually want to use, and put them inside this folder. You want to make sure it's in the GZ Doom folder so everything is in the same place. Otherwise, you will run into issues with that. And then the only thing that you, the only other thing that you need to do is take the Project Brutality uh, master file and just change it from a zip to a PK3 file. Just do that. And it's gonna it's gonna say that, but it's not a problem. So just hit yes, and now it's a PK3. And then you can load it in ZDL. So let me show you how ZDL works. So I'm gonna come back here and just open it up. So as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in here already. Um, what you want to do is number one, you want to select your source port, and what you can do by doing that is just clicking that plus icon, making sure that you're in the right place, and clicking on GZ Doom. Um, and then whatever, uh, whatever you want to use is your, what they call the, the IWAD, you know, basically if you want to use Doom or if you want to use Doom 2 or if you want to use, uh, God, what are some of the other games that it works with? There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of games that run on the Doom engine and basically that's, you know, you, you know, you want to put whatever game you, you want to use in there. So I'm just using the original Doom and it's just Doom.wad. Um, and then under this, the external file. So in here, what you're going to want to do is just click that plus icon, just load in anything additional that you want. Basically, this is where you put all your mods. 
So and in the case of Project Brutality, what you need to make sure that you do here is put Project Brutality Master, uh, the PK3 file, put that at the top. And then just underneath that, start loading in all your other stuff. So underneath that, I have the Auto Cannon, I have the Doom Blade, um, I have Glory Kill, HMG, all of this stuff. Some of these are specifically for Project Brutality. I think the Doom Blade works without Project Brutality. I believe, yeah, this I think is was specifically made for Project Brutality, so it may not work. Um, otherwise and then this is just this is music this is uh, additional is the idkfa soundtrack it's basically andrew holschult he redid the entire original doom soundtrack with like metal uh metal instruments and stuff. it was awesome it was just a really really cool thing and i've been using it on a lot of my playthroughs so anyway put all this stuff in uh just make sure that you know your main one like if you have add-ons for a specific mod like project brutality make sure that's at the top and then everything else needs to go below it and then you're good to go. So all that you need to do at this point to get the game going is to hit launch. And then obviously I'm playing uh, the original Doom. I'm not playing Doom 2, so I need to make sure I click on that. You know, make any extra adjustments that you need there and click play game. So now what it does is it loads up all of that stuff in order and then you're into the game. And so we are good to go. Now we can play a new game and all set. Oh yeah, that's right. I actually turned the uh, the music off earlier. <laughs> this is so eerie, like listening to this without the actual music. There we go. Much better, much better, much better. That's basically it. So now we have all of these mods loaded. In fact, I think you can, in here, it may actually tell you, oh good lord, it may actually tell you what has actually loaded in. Uh, yeah, actually right here, you can see that all of these additional things were added in right in this area. So, and, and, and then you know, like, what has loaded in correctly. Honestly, though, if something doesn't work for whatever reason, though, uh, it's going to tell you right away, like, like, it won't load. The game will not load, so... But anyway, that's basically it. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment. Um... Let me know. Like I said, I'll have a bunch of links for everything in the description. And then, as always, if you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, and I will catch up with you all in the next one. See ya!